just so many people on this trail. I've never seen this many people on this trail. But we're we're almost to the switchbacks. I've been gabbing to people, just lollygagging. But uh, it's definitely overcast. Definitely gonna rain today. Hopefully I'll be making it to camp before then. <sighs> but we're gonna look for uh, Revis's grave. <laughs> Elijah Marcus Rivas, 1827 to 1896. Um, they said they found him under an old juniper tree with his uh, burrows starving to death. This is where he was put to rest. So after those switchbacks up from uh, Rogers Canyon, which is down there to the left, there's Iron Mountain. You have this beautiful view. <laughs> Pretty cool. Last time I was here, this grass was so high, it was up to my chin. Well, it's up to my chin right now, but it was way, way thicker than it is now. I mean, it was so thick, you couldn't even see the trail. Check out this super old juniper tree. It's still alive. It's still green on it. It's insane. Look at this trunk. It's massive. Revis down that way. This is also part of the Arizona Trail. Look at this. Apples. Look at all these guys. These apples are fucking delicious. Oh. Mm. But man, even the small ones, look at that. Look, it's not even that big. Just very good. Very sweet. Oh my god. Oh, hi, she's. Oh, thank you. I, I needed my neck lick. That was very kind of you. You don't like apples. And we've tried this before. Jeez. We've tried this. Yeah. So this is going to be home tonight. Surrounded by apple trees. Lots of apple trees. Ooh, there's a squirrel. Don't even think about chasing that squirrel. Guys, come on! What are you doing? Look, what? Hey! Hey! <whistles> Sheila! <coughs> Come on! Stop it over here! Good girls! Come here! Hey! Hey! No, no squirrel time! Look at all these guys! Apples! 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 Man, making apple pies! Okay. All right, lunch time. Got my summer sausage. I got crackers, and I've got Tillamook sharp cheddar. Oh, Mr. Revis, Mr. Mother in Revis. He was a man of mystery, but he lived here. He he had a farm. He had chickens, cows, he had horses to plow his fields, he sold produce to uh, Mesa and Florence. He'd walk his uh, old butt down this hill and sell his vegetables. But to the natives, to the natives, this guy was completely batshit crazy. I had to get the fire started because all these mosquitoes, man, they were bugging. Elijah Revis was a skilled packer and an expert marksman with a rifle. He carried a Winchester 1886 3840 repeater. There are many stories about his marksmanship and fearless way of life. One of the best stories told about Revis was the time he defended his abode from ten fierce Apache warriors who were heavily armed. 
Early in the afternoon of May 8th, 1878, warriors tried to get Rivas out of his defensive dugout. Three Apache had lost their lives to the deadly accuracy of Rivas' rifle. They decided to go across the creek and camp for the night. Their new plan was to wait until Rivas ran out of food and water, and they were in no hurry to leave. Rivas, while waiting his fate, recalled an old story he had heard about the Apaches from other men who had survived similar situations. If he could convince the Apache he was insane or crazy, they might leave him alone. He quickly stripped off all his clothing from his body, grabbed two butcher knives and ran across his garden, then the creek, screaming and showing absolutely no fear. The Apaches heard, then saw the fire red hair and blue eyes of a screeching white devil racing towards them in the light of their campfire. The Apaches were convinced he was surely crazy, as no sane man would run naked, armed with two knives, into the camp of seven heavily armed men. The Apache fled in panic, never to return to Revis's mountain sanctuary again. The Apaches raided into the area as late as 1881, but avoided Revis's valley altogether. This horrific event in the life of Elijah Marcus Revis certainly represents the overall cunning, daring, and self-reliance needed by him to survive in these rugged and isolated mountains during this period of time. I'm about to leave. I had a fire last night, but I, I doused it twice last night, and I doused it again today. And those are nice and cool. Everything feels nice. The rocks are cool. Ooh, that rock split open. Yeah. But yeah, everything looks good. Taking down deep, it's just water. Yeah. Mr. Elijah Marcus Rivas. I hear if you say his name too much, he actually like comes back into the real world as a um, spirit man. He's a spirit man. Spirit man. No, but 